Number 20. What pressure is exerted on the bottom of a 0.5 meter wide by 0.9 meter uh, long tank that can hold 50 kilograms of gasoline by the weight of the gasoline when it is full? So here's our tank, right? Here are the dimensions at the bottom, 0.5 by 0.9. And there exists a mass of 50 kilograms of gasoline in total in this tank when it's full. So we want to find the pressure on the bottom, right? I should have put that in a different color. We want to find the pressure on the bottom surface okay now remember the bottom surface is basically equivalent to you know this surface at the top okay so notice this is rectangular so to find the pressure on a rectangular surface we're thinking about using this particular formula right where it tells us that the pressure equals the force applied divided by the area over which this force is applied so the 50 kilograms is the force that is applied over this entire area here all right. Remember, I'm just using the top to represent the figure at the bottom. It's just from a perspective wise, it's just easier. So now uh, to find the pressure, right, we know the, uh, excuse me, the mass of the gas, but we need to know the force of the gas. So just take the weight, just take the mass and multiply it by 9.8 to find the weight, right? Weight is a force. And then divide it by the area. So remember, this has to all be in meters, which is good because that's what they gave us. So it's just length times width. All right, and we have now the pressure being equal to 50 times 9.8 divided by parenthesis 0.9 times 0.5. And what do we get? We get about, and I guess we'll use three sig figs. So it looks like it's going to be 1,090, right? 1,090 um, pascals, that is, right? Pascals. Okay, those are the standard units for uh, pressure here. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.